Hi everyone, Rob Howitt from RJH Motorbike Training. A short video today, which at the end of it, you should have a better understanding of what will happen if you stop on double yellow lines on your motorbike test. Over the years, we have had um, trainees come to us from other schools and so on, and some have stopped on double yellow lines and passed their test. Some have stopped on double yellow lines and failed their test. So hopefully this video will just um, clear clear some bits up. Any questions, obviously, happy to help. Comment away below. Now when we uh, brief new uh, riders on going on the road training for their tests, one of the most popular questions is what if I stop on double yellow lines? So a very short video which will explain uh, what will happen. Okay, so if your examiner is following you and he is behind you and he asks you to find somewhere safe to pull over, then do so. And that really ideally wants to be a raised curb, clear tarmac, no road markings and you know he's going to be asking you to do this numerous times. So there's nothing to worry about, he's not trying to catch you out and in that instant when he is behind you and he asks you to find somewhere safe to pull over you do not and I repeat, you do not want to park on double yellow lines. On the other hand, if you um, are riding along and he asks you to find somewhere to pull over and he's stuck behind traffic lights, double yellow lines are acceptable. So that is when he's riding around, you've gone through some traffic lights. He has been not able to follow you through the traffic lights. He needs to keep you in a visual uh, contact. He needs to keep you in a visual contact. And that's where double yellow lines are acceptable, the only time. Now that is from our experience as a motorbike training school of 20 years training and that's with the feedback from our um, examiners that double yellow lines is if the examiner has lost you at traffic lights needs to keep that visual contact so um, I hope that explains the myth regarding double yellow lines and it really very simple if you're in doubt you know in the radio brief before your module 2 test just ask that question so hope it helps little tip little uh, tip from RJH regarding double yellow lines on your motorbike test hope you like the channel subscribe like and comment thanks for watching bye